Hey guys, it's Deanna of The Pretty Girl's Guide and today's video is going to be a really quick DIY project. Um, I posted actually this picture right here on my Instagram maybe a week or so ago depending on when I'm uploading this and you guys went crazy for it. And I said on um, Instagram that it was a DIY, I made it myself. I like to think of myself as a little creative, just a little creative. <laughs> and um, I said that I would do a tutorial on how you can make this kissy face picture, that's what we'll call it, a kissy face picture yourself. So without further ado, I am going to basically show you guys how to do it. So basically what you're going to do is start off with the front portion of the frame. And I got this frame from Michaels. It was probably about, no, not Michaels, lies, Marshalls. I got this frame from Marshalls and it was probably between like three and five dollars. Most of the stuff that you see behind me was picked up from Marshalls. So you're going to take your frame like this and you're going to take your, I'm using a box from Adorby. I'll have a haul on this later. Super cute underwear guys, like oh my god. Um, I'll have a haul and review of this and I will be giving you guys a coupon code so you can pick up your own really cheap underwear. You get like two pieces like a bra and a panty for $24. You can't even get a bra at Victoria's Secret for $24. So bomb, this is coming soon. Anyway, so you take your box or your binder and you take your white sheet of paper like So basically take your pen and dot the corners of the frame and the reason why you want to do that is to kind of give yourself um, an outline of where you need to keep your kissy prints inside of so it fits inside the frame that you guys are not going to be able to see it but that is basically whatever one two three four dots you created you want to keep your kisses inside of that kind of box now you can overlap on the sides of it but just know that when you um, cut your paper to put it in the frame some parts of the kisses will be cut off but that's perfectly fine I did mine like that and I like the way that it looks it looks like it's a little disorganized and for this kind of project a little bit of disorganization looks really good in the final project so after you have your paper prepped you want to pick out what lipsticks you want to use and you're going to want to pick out like lipstick shades that complement each other. You're not gonna want like a purple lipstick and then like a light blue lipstick. That's not going to look well together and it's not going to overlap really well because when you do the kisses, you do kind of want to have like kisses overlapping just a little bit so there's not too much white space left in the background of your picture. So I picked all hues, they're like springtime hues um, of peaches and pinks and light berries. So you basically just want to have all the lipsticks that you're going to use and start kissing the paper, girl! Like, it's really that simple. You just want to make sure that you pucker up and kiss. Now, I did something wrong. You want to make sure you hold the paper so that when you lift your lips off, because they are going to be sticky, that your paper does not move and you don't get any smudge marks. One kiss on my paper, and you don't have to just do one kiss of one color. You can do multiple kisses until your lipstick kind of like fades all the way off. So then it's kind of like some lip prints are heavier than others and you have like kind of fading lip prints. It really looks cute. So basically just have fun with it. So there's my three lip prints and what I'm going to do is take my wet wipe. I use Pampers wet wipes to like do everything. Alright, so wipe off your lipstick, make sure you get all of it off and basically just pick another color. I'm going to pick Nude Cream by Milani. So make sure you get a nice good covering. So you can do a couple coats. And take your paper again and make sure you have the corners held so you don't lift it up and kiss. See? Like 
collection. So it, this is like a super simple and super inexpensive cute little DIY project that you can do if you're trying to decorate your room or your apartment. It basically only costs you like what? What's the cost of a sheet of paper? Nothing. And um, a frame, four to six dollars depending on where you go. And if you already have lipstick, boom, you're set. And so see, you, it's starting to build up. I'm going to go through and use a couple more darker colors and then I will come back at the end and show you my my finished product and how to put it in the frame okay guys so I am pretty much done and my lips probably look ridiculous now because I have kissed so many colors onto this little piece of paper oh and if you guys want me to do like a review or haul I guess lipstick collection whatever type video let me know because that's just part of my lipsticks but anywho so I am pretty much done like I said depending on how full you want your little picture to be depends on how many more kisses you add and as you go you can kind of see a picture starting to take form so you can go through and kind of fill in any little spaces that you feel as though aren't full enough yeah and just overlap don't be afraid to overlap and don't now for putting this in the frame you take your frame and you line it up make sure it is good to where you want it and that's about how I want mine and then you hold on to the frame and the sheet of paper and you flip it over so that basically it looks like this you can see the frame right there From there what you want to do is take the back of your frame and put it in place to where it would be so I really need more hands to show you this so you take your little sheet of paper situation like this and you take your back to your frame and you push it into the divot to where it wants to be so basically you have that little situation going on and then take your scissors or I just rip around the damn paper sorry around the paper so you have your outline and you just pull along the edges and it automatically cuts it for you and there you go this is what you have bam look at that it's perfect this way. and there you go bam you are done and literally if I wasn't recording this this probably would have taken me like five minutes and you just set it up wherever you want it and you have a cute little picture kissy frame so that is basically it guys the easiest little DIY in the world and it's super chic and super cute and super easy um, if you guys like videos like this DIY like I do a lot of little DIYs around my apartment if you want to see more videos like this let me know um, in the comments below just basically let me know what you guys want to see because I am here for you so until next time guys bye and you just want to make sure it's lined up properly and then you're going to take your